Today, at the PlayStation Experience event in Las Vegas, Naughty Dog revealed the first live gameplay from Uncharted 4. Totaling almost 16 minutes in length, the demo was packed with adventure and intrigue, and even a few revealing details. Here are my favourite points of interest. Before we start, I feel obligated to tell you that I very almost rendered this video with the title Points of Incest before I caught the error, but that's neither here nor there. Number 1. Expanded Traversal One of the criticisms often thrown at the Uncharted series is its sure easy this. and simplistic platforming. As a result, Naughty Dog have finally decided to add some traversal variety in the form of an improvised climbing axe, seemingly made out of a scavenged piton or peg. As you can see here, the peg allows for more freeform pathfinding rather than being rigidly stuck to glowing ledges. Plus, the extended reach should add for an extra element of challenge and peril to faraway jumps and crumbling walls. In addition, Drake now has access to a grappling hook, which can be used at specific points either to progress through the level or quickly flee combat. Story-wise, these tools may imply that Drake is more mindful of his safety now that he's older and wiser. Or, if this note is anything to go by, it's probably more likely that Elena has had harsh words with him about his recklessness. In regards to the gameplay, however, this suggests an increase and emphasis in vertical level design, and so, it's safe to expect plenty of sweeping vistas and vertigo. On a minor note, I like how the gear remains visible on Drake's belt at all times. Number 2. Flexible Stealth With the exception of Uncharted 2's tutorial, stealth, for the most part, has been completely ignorable. The problem was that previous entries in the series had a very binary system. The enemies had either seen you, or they hadn't. There was no in-between. Luckily, it appears to be a viable option now, letting you engage in stealthy cat-and-mouse gameplay. For example, you'll notice that there's copious amounts of dense foliage to hide in, much like Assassin's Creed, and new silent takedowns to abuse. But most importantly, instead of being all-seeing, all-knowing, unrelenting AI, the goons actually lose track of your position and spread out to search before returning to their patrols. Options are never a bad thing, and it's clearly one of The Last of Us's many influences on the design. This means that we're no longer trapped in controller-smashing checkpoints that respawn you among alerted enemies. For players who favour the quiet approach, it's a very welcome change. Number 3. It's the little things. Like long guns now having straps. Enemies who self-preserve. Enemies who bleed. Drake being startled by flying animals. Environmental effects on clothing. This looks cool. Good to see you alive, little brother. Number four, on. the brother. We got a treasure to find. Where have you been for the last 25 years? Why didn't Catherine Marlowe mention you when she was mind fudging us in Yemen? Where do you live? You're messing with my head, Troy Baker, and I kind of like it. 